the majority of work that we do on our computer happens in the browser. So this is where we spend majority of our time. So in today's video, you're going to learn about the 12 must have Chrome extensions that will save you time and make you way more productive. And this is my personal stack of extensions. I use them pretty much on the daily. So you're going to see the real deal of the best Chrome extensions. Let's dive right in. The first Chrome extension is called Bardeen and it's a workflow automation tool. It allows you to do things like this. So right here in front of me, I have a LinkedIn profile and I happen to be a Notion user. If I want to save a person to Notion, I won't want to copy all of this data manually to Notion. So instead I can launch the Chrome extension and there are different automations. This specific one is called copy LinkedIn profile to Notion. It takes one click and it's going to collect all of this data and automatically add the data to Notion. So you can click on view parent and see the contents of this page. As you can see the name, the email, LinkedIn, URL, company, and a lot more information was saved just with one click. And my absolute favorite part is that there are 300 plus pre-built automations that you can copy and start using right away. For example, you can join a meeting automatically, send meeting reminders, create custom browser notifications, and so much more. And you can even create your own. Just open Berdeen, click on create new playbook, and here you have the builder with a bunch of different apps to choose from, and you can just stack actions together. Extension number two is called Video Speed Controller. And this extension alone is probably one of my favorites because it has saved me days of time over a course of a year. So what this extension does, it allows you to speed up the videos that you're watching with some keyboard shortcuts. So right here in front of me, I have a YouTube video. Uh, let's play it. So by default, it plays at one time the speed. So you can go usually to the controller and change the speed, but not every player has that setting. So here I have the video speed controller installed and you can speed up the video like this or with shortcuts. So if I click on D, just the letter D on the keyboard, it's going to speed up the video and it can speed it up infinitely. So you can pretty much speed it up 3X if you want to, don't recommend it. You can click on R to reset the speed and click on R again to get it back to what it was. Click on X to jump 10 seconds ahead or Z to jump 10 seconds behind. And my favorite part is that it doesn't only work on YouTube. You can also increase the playback speed where you otherwise will not have a chance to. So let's go to Twitter, for example, and let's look at media and let's look at some videos. So for example, here I have a video and here you have the playbook controller. So you can hit D and as you can see, otherwise you cannot control the speed. It works on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and pretty much with any video player. But you know what you do not want to play at high speeds? Ads. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. Extension number three is an ad blocker. It's going to remove all of those annoying pre-roll video ads from YouTube, also from different social media platforms. And even when you read through articles, there are usually different display ads embedded all over the place. So it's going to eradicate them completely. And speaking of eradicating things and social media, sometimes you just have to use it, although it's such a time sink. Extension number four is called the Newsfeed Eradicator. So if we go on Twitter, for example, all of the posts are hidden automatically, which is beautiful. But now let's imagine that you want to allow yourself five minutes of browsing around. Big deal. So what you can do is you can click on this newsfeed eradicator. Uh, here you can configure, uh, for example, different social media platforms. And then for Twitter, I'm going to allow this feed for five minutes. So we're going to browse through it. And then at the end of five minutes, it's going to hide the feed automatically. This way, you do not miss the track of time and browse for hours. Number five is reader mode. You know those really ugly design websites? Yes, Wikipedia, I'm talking to you. Just look at this page. There are like 30 words crammed into one line, and if you scroll down, it just all over the place, like really, really hard to read for one of the most visited website on earth. And this is where reader mode comes into play. So let's click on the extension and all of a sudden, here we have a beautifully formatted page that's easy to read. You can also customize settings. So let's click on settings. Let's pick a different theme. I like this light theme, for example. 
Uh, let's save changes. Let's increase the font size to 17, which is perfect for this computer. And my favorite part is you can even add an outline. So you can see what is on this page. So this is the outline. It probably goes through all of the headings and generates this outline. So let's take a look at the Nobel Prize and boom, you just jump into the right section right away. You can also make highlights just like this, tweet text, you name it. Frankly, it makes my browsing experience so, so much better because all of a sudden, all of the websites look exactly the same. And sometimes if something is really poorly formatted and it's terrible and really hard to read, I'm just not going to read it despite of the quality of the information. But you know the website that should win all of the design awards? This particular page of Amazon. Kindle is actually amazing, but I love reading on my Kindle the stuff that I do not want to read in the moment. How do I send an article to this device with one click? This is where Send to Kindle extension comes into play. All you need to do is open the page that you want to save. Let's open the previous one and let's click on Save to Kindle, just like this. You can also do it with a shortcut and it's going to automatically send the contents of that page into my Kindle. So it's going to be available in a couple minutes. Extension number seven is called Loom and it allows you to record your screen and share the links to that recording with a simple shortcut. So here we have an ugly design Kindle page. Say we want to send it to our designers on Amazon. So how do you do it? You can just click on the browser extension, just like this, click on start recording and share the entire screen or a particular window. I'm going to share the entire screen and say something like, uh, hey Amazon designers, this page doesn't look all that good. Specifically, at the top, there is no padding right there, no padding. So you probably want to edit there and uh, frankly, you probably want to make the font bigger and just show how the app works with a little GIF. Hope you enjoyed. All right, so we just clicked on pause and here we have the automatically generated and recorded video with a link. Uh, the link was copied to our clipboard. You can call it Amazon, uh, Amazon uh, feedback, for example. Cool. And then when somebody watches that video and say uh, everything is there, they can comment. For example, uh, this, is, this is cool, just like this. And it's that easy to collaborate on videos. Now let's send this link to Amazon designers. So I'm going to go to Gmail. Let's compose a new message, make it bigger. So let's write our message. Uh, hey, Amazon designers, uh, wanted to share uh, some uh, feedback uh, with you. Okay. And then I'm going to paste the link. And if I was to send this exact email, they're going to reply to me saying, hey man, you might want to fix your spelling before giving us design advice. And this is where Grammarly extension number eight comes into play. Let's activate it and reload the page. So it looks like there are two suggestions over here. Uh, I misspelled feedback, let's accept that feedback. And then uh, yo was also highlighted, so it can be you and wanted also needs to be I wanted to be the proper English. Extension number nine is called Dark Reader. Say you've turned into the dark side or you're a software engineer. Dark Reader automatically turns all of the bright websites on the web into dark ones. So let's enable it just like this and boom, there we have it. So as you're browsing through the web, there are no more bright websites. It's very similar to the dark mode on the computer, but for the web. Extension number 10. So my ex-girlfriend made a massive mistake. Actually, she just used the same password all over the internet. Not a good idea. One password is a password manager. It allows you to generate new passwords for every website. And you can very easily log into websites without having to remember passwords. So here are all of your accounts. You can click on one, for example. Uh, let's sign up with Google. And the password is automatically filled out. Let's click on next. And one feature I absolutely love in one password compared to other password managers is the two-factor authentication, which I use for most of the websites. So here's what I mean. I can click on one password and there's a one time password that's going to be automatically regenerated. I used to have it on my phone and this way I don't have to have my phone on hand. Use protection kids. I mean, use protection.
Speaking of pinning extensions, I can count 10 already, but sometimes you have some heavyweight extensions that really slow down your computer. So Extensity is the extension that allows you to enable and disable extensions without having to delete them. So let's go through the list of extensions. Let's try to disable Adblocker and add AdGuard, for example, add an SEO tool, do a bunch of other things, Email Finder, let's go. Data Scraper, Notion Enhancer, and boom, just like this, I enabled five more extensions. And finally, extension number 12 is called Tab Copy. So I could count 12 extensions that I need to share with you in the comments below, but how do I actually grab all of the links and get the titles? So here in my browser, I have 12 tabs open, but I don't want to copy each individual link and the title. So I can use Tab Copy instead. Let's grab all of the tabs inside this specific window, just like this, and let's switch to my Notion, and that's where I'm going to add the links to the description. So just like this, 12 links, one button. That's all it took, and it's a huge time saver for me. And this is pretty much it. You know exactly what to do. But you know the feeling when you spend so much time in meetings? Watch this video next to learn how to become a meeting god.